Hey guys, the air conditioner here, because why not? Welcome to our weird, giant pew herd that I said I was gonna do for a while, and I only just now finally got around to, uh, actually getting the perfect scenario where we actually can, where normally we have to, one, deal with the fact that, you know, the big guys are all slow and also there's no server slots, so I was just sitting around and then the server crashed, and I'm like, oh, now's the time, and here we are. The weird big guy Hydra, which I think it's, a. Uh, Pretty beautiful, what with the uh, necks going crazy and... Oh god. At least they're not as loud as the galleys and... Oh god. But yeah, I mean, we tried to make a big... Uh... Oh, another one disappeared. Yeah, we tried to make a herd as big as we can and... I think we did pretty well. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven big guys. And I think we have a few more kind of on the way, which... Sadly, if they don't get here within like the next maybe minute or so... We, we're gonna have to move out because... We only have so many areas where we can actually go to, where like, for example, Rexes have been coming from over by Cannonball heading to Spawn Lake, and I'm told by some of the little guys down there that, yeah, Spawn Lake, avoid that like the plague, because apparently there's huge beyond word like Rex packs there, so we're not gonna go there, like, at all, I, even though, oh yeah, we could try to fight him or something, yeah, no, I'm good, because I don't feel like... Uh, either A, just, you know, sitting there as they hit your front legs and you can't really do anything. I also don't want to deal with friendly fire as much. So I'm thinking, hmm, we can go to, let's see, where to? There we go. And I also managed to finally change what button turns off the screen from a uh, question mark to the thing above enter. The, uh, what is it, like the line leaning to the left or whatever that is. So there we go. It's like something I don't really use. So I did it. It's perfect. Okay, so, I want to ask everyone else where we're going to be going, because, I mean, instead of just dictating, oh yeah, we're going here or something, let's see exactly where we could go. Because, I mean, I actually need water and food. We can't fit in Oasis, oh, that'd be pretty funny to try, but, yeah, alright, if you're wondering what Bubba's doing in a big herd of herbivores, this is actually Bubba's twin brother, Hubba. Yeah, see what I did there, Hubba Bubba? Yeah, there we go. But yeah, Hubba is his twin, and the exact opposite, he's like all peaceful and everything like that so twins okay twins it is and one of these days I swear I promise I'll get a new keyboard one of these days oh, it'll be a be amazing and twins equals Loch Ness that could be pretty cool if you think about that all the, the big guys with their majestic necks sticking out of the uh, what's it called you know the water oh god you know what I really want to see that now so now we can migrate as the giant beautiful herd that I only seen once uh what was it like episode four or something like that like gee, it was so long ago that I've seen like a huge huge herd of these guys oh it's beautiful oh, I semi want to use like this as like the thumbnail shot because always I'm trying to have it where we have a nice thumbnail shot to start off our little events but I think I almost want like this one more because yes the giant hydra's all awesome but I mean look how majestic this is look at it we're just slowly going, no one's sprinting, we have little guys in the back just kind of tagging along because it's, you know, safety in numbers and... Wait, how many little guys do we have? Right, we got two Shants, two Stegos, we almost have like two of everything. And then that, there's that little Ankylo that spawned with me on top of uh, Oasis, which everyone here, in case the server for whatever reason crashes, uh, a majority, I think like, like, let's say there's five people, just throw random numbers out. Four of them, like, made sure to re-log. So if the server crashes, you know, getting back up is not going to be, like, such a hassle, because, I mean, with big guys like this, going back to your spawn location, yeah, no thank you, so, yeah, we're all, like, spawned up right at the base of Oasis, me, personally, I'm at the top of Oasis, and there, everyone's all nice and filled in, so, we have the little guys running ahead, which is nice, because I don't want to have to deal with running up to see a, a big Rex pack or something, like, sitting at Cannonball, because... One Rex could really mess all of us up right now. We're in, like, transport mode, not really fighting mode. Because, I mean, yeah, Rex go and bite, 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 just biting everyone. Because if we try to attack, we'd, like, decapitate a little guy or something like that. Like, can we eat these trees? No, we can't. We gotta go around them. Hmm. Wait, everyone's screen is shaking so much. Oh, God, I feel bad for the little guys. Oh, what's it like down here? Apparently, hmm, as the big guy, you don't really shake as much. Oh, no, there we go. Alright, so I'm shaking to the guy behind me, but... No, not really getting the same effect as that poor galley who's probably, like, able to levitate with, like, the vibrations keeping him ab above the ground or something. Oh, God. Okay, so... The Majestic Herd. Oh, I love it. Hmm. 
Let's see. Yeah, alright, so I'm thinking what we're gonna do is we're gonna sit here, get all our stats up, and I'm think actually no. I think yeah, we'll go get water first because there like virtually is zero food here, and as a big guy, we actually need quite a bit, and I mean we got this guy who has like badass scars all over him, so he needs to heal. So we need food and water like everyone needs a lot of it. So we're gonna pretty much drain the lake, and then instead of heading the way that everyone knows of, which is to the left, we're gonna head to the right like over that way because there's a whole bunch more one food and I mean carnivores aren't really expecting enough that we have really too much to you know worry about but I mean might as well just take make make, make it a lot safer is what I'm trying to say and also I don't want to deal with anyone accidentally like breaking a leg over that way I mean we can that way break a leg but there's a certain pathway that if we follow it we should be more than fine okay so I'm just gonna start sprinting now just so we can actually get to the water have some sweet, sweet water. Because, I mean, we got a lot of herbivore mouse to feed for the first time ever instead of everyone just sitting there doing absolute nothing. Yeah, Jurassic Park theme. Uh, if it only was, it wasn't copyright, I'd just be blasting that right now. Hmm. Yeah, we got some stragglers in the back, but us being the big guys, not really too much of a problem. Because, I mean, we're decently slow, so stragglers are probably in their paradise. Oh, oh, look at this. The majestic big guy herd coming in to drain this lake. Oh, God. Oh, and now it's, it's only quiet when we're stuffing our faces with water. Okay, I'm almost good to go, and I'm gonna wait for everyone else, though, because what I've noticed is, like, if I stop drinking, everyone else stops drinking, even if they need it, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep drinking. Let everyone keep going. Hmm. Actually, you know what? I know what I said about going to the right there, but apparently everyone wants to go this way. And also, I just realized there's a huge forest over to the left here, so scratch that with the whole going to the right thing, because that really is a little bit more out of the way than we really need it to be. So let me turn this off just so we can really just see the majesticness of this beautiful herd. And you know what? For the first time in quite some time, we're actually being pretty realistic, so anyone who likes that, there you go. I mean, I don't think it's pretty realistic turning into a submarine like that. Oh god, just full on, let me just drink this. Blah, blah, blah. Oh god. So, yeah. And there we go. Now I'm not drowning myself anymore. Okay, so we can't eat the trees here. Should I tell everyone that or... No, actually no. Huge forest up ahead. There we go. Probably spelled the majority of that wrong because I always try to rush with my horrible keyboard here because I'm just trying to make sure we limit the amount of earthquakes that go off with this Ah, horrible keyboard. Story time as well. This keyboard that I'm using uh, is absolutely horrible. Very old, and by that I mean it's like 20 years old. How it's still working is beyond me. Because, yeah, I, I don't even know. It's like those huge clunky, like, buttons and, oh my god, it's just, how it's not working is, I mean, how it's still working is beyond me. Because when I first got my current computer and all that, I was supposed to get a keyboard with it, but they never sent it. There was like a problem with the whole shipping and all that. And so I'm like, oh no, I can't, you know, use a nothing for the computer or else I can't even use it. So I used the a old keyboard that I found in the house somewhere, which, yeah, it turns out, yeah, it's 20 years something old. Like back in the days when my own mother was a, a bank teller in like New York and all that. Like this is way old. Like I think, what, what, what building was that? Like the, uh, the huge bank building. It's like, God, for the life of me, I don't remember what the name of it was, but maybe it'll come back to me, but yeah, old computer, so there we go. I mean, I'm thinking, hmm, if I really, really wanted to, I could go rush out and try to get a commu commuter, <laughs> computer, like, within like a day or two or something. You know what? I think that's going to be my new goal, because there's a lot of things I'm like really far behind on, like, you know, iPhones and all that? I got the 4, so yeah, I'm really old school. Like, I've honestly already reached that point of which... I can't update anymore, so, yeah. Oh god, one of these days I'll get up to date. Oh, look, and how convenient is that? We got a, another uh, pew coming up. And we got this huge pew conga line that's sideways. Let me just turn that off because no point in seeing the chat and all that. I mean, we're just kind of walking. So if, if that big guy right there is looking to try to get in the herd, well, the herd came to you, so there you go. Okay, wait, did we gain any more pews in the time of us, like, walking through? All right, one, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, um, eight. So, no, we had the same number, but we are now up to eight strong. Hmm. 
And we actually, I think we almost have, yeah, every, every kind of herbivore. Which one are we missing? We're missing a trike. We're missing, hmm. No, we have turkeys. We have galleys. Have dryos. No, I think, yeah, we're really just only missing a, a trike. Yeah. Hmm, we're, we're almost like the single most diverse her Oh. Oh, that's... That's a problem. There's a Rex coming up. Oh, and he's charging. Oh, God. I thought we were just gonna have a nice, peaceful just journey over to Twins. Turns out, no. We got a Rex charging in. Alright, I'm guessing uh, the, the little Rex is... Has no idea what he's up against. He's like, what? There's actually herbivores in this game? All I know are Rexes that sit around and kill each other and crash the server with the amount of corpses. Kill it with stomps? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, 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 yep, alright. Oh, my God, he's actually smart. He knows to run. Oh, never mind. The Shants are actually going at him. Oh, and we have two wounded Shants. Oh, one. No, he's just really messing that guy up. Jeez. And he's dead. Okay, good. We only lost one guy, and it was a Shant. That's a... You know what? I'd say that's a pretty good ratio. Killed the uh, aggressive beyond measure Rex. And, yes, we have someone who's now limping, but never mind. He just keeled over. Okay. You know what? Food. Time. There we go. Everyone go this way, because let's level this forest right here. I, I believe every tree here is actually uh, edible. So, we can all go nuts on this. Alright, so actually we lost two Shans, which... Kinda sucks, but, I mean, well, that's life. We always gotta deal with the Rexes. Okay, guys, over this way. Wait a few secs after eating. Yeah, so I, so that's really the uh, way to combat the whole, you know, you get stuck in the uh, tree. Like, the bushes, you don't need to worry about. It's the whole trees, like these big things. All right, let's see. Can I eat this? And I should probably turn this on. Okay, there we go. And eat that. There we go. Wait, 11 in total? Alright, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. No, we only have 8. Okay, well, whatever. Oh, look at this. This majestic herd. Granted, we have this line of text here. I'm just trying to eat some trees with that little dot, which really helps, especially when you're a big guy. There we go. And I'm going to pull out now so everyone else can, you know, enjoy some leafy greens as well. Okay, there we go. What do you mean they're full of fat? Then this isn't even Bubba. Granted, I haven't told anyone that, but you know what? One of these days, we'll all know that. Oh, hold on. Oh God, I think the the trees they were too fat, too fat to even move. Now I'm actually stuck in one of those weird invisible trees that once you eat them, they pretty much have a little barrier around them. I think my theory for that is because I've actually seen a tree grow up. Because you know how like. It used to be where you can be, like, a big guy on top of a tree and be alive forever. Basically, I think they have that little, like, barrier around them to prevent, like, people, like, eating the tree and having two hours to kill because I think that's exactly how long it takes to, uh, you know, like, for them to grow back up. So people would go and stand on top of them. But I think they have that barrier now to prevent that, really. Carno's stalking the ones in the back. Yeah, that's why they gotta keep up. Like, do we have anyone? Oh, we have a limper. Hmm. Well, we don't need to worry about, oh no, we're leaving behind, because, I mean, we're pretty slow to an extent. I mean, our walk speed is a little bit faster than most things uh, that can, you know, limp. Like, what is limping over there? Is it the ankylo? Because they are beyond slow when they're limping. Hmm. Well, there goes the forest. Oh, God. And we're almost to Twins, and I think what we'll do is we'll go to Twins... You know, just rest there, do the Loch Ness uh, big guy thing that apparently people want to do, and I would love to see that. I haven't seen that in ever, ever since this, like, map was first added when people actually went to Twins instead of, uh, was like a wreck sitting at Spawn Lake. So, I think we'll go there, do that, and then we might head back to Cannonball, and then, hmm, I think what we could do is just chill around there, maybe try to get on top of the ruins, because apparently there's a way you can do that. And then I think just for a nice big finale, just like, what better way to end a huge guy herd than to straight up just assault Spawn Lake, which I know that's not realistic or anything, but hey, I mean, if we're going to be ending it, well, might as well have it where we die, because if you're a big guy, you can't really just go and ask, like, a Shant to go and kill you, because it's going to take a whole, like, five minutes for them to kill you. 
So I might as well, one, fight the Rexes, and two, make it so we can respawn later on, or something like that. So, yeah, but we have to be very careful on this little ledge right here, because if someone's sprinting off this, yeah, you might break your legs. And us, we don't break our legs. We straight up die instantly. Like, I think, like, the height from ruins, like, the top of ruins to the ground is approximately what we die on. So, if we jump off that, we just use our necks and helicopter off into space or something like that. Or at least... That happened this one time I died, I just went off to see New Horizons and all that stuff. But, yeah, anyhow, I think right here's a good spot to end for now. Next time, we'll hopefully be at, uh, Twins. I'm gonna make it so we actually get there instead of just more walking, doing this, doing nothing. So, yeah, like the video if you enjoyed. Let me just turn this off, subscribe for more, and I will see you, there we go, next time.